Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. We give all glory and honor and praise to the Most High Yahweh and to His only begotten Son, Amashiach Yahweh Yeah, next morning on the journey, just give thanks and give praise, brothers and sisters. But um, <clears throat> it's ironically, nobody talking about the soul of flare yesterday that shut down Australia and New Zealand. There was no power. You understand me? So it was a great solar flare, flare. Yesterday it was shut down these two countries. Power. There was no power for a certain period of time. So we just have to watch and see. I know today is supposed to be a blood moon in the Americas. Right? They will see it from that region. And they said there will be no more until 2025. But as the scriptures say, brothers and sisters, when you see these things, these are signs. <clears throat> There's a couple incidents too with the white man, white men, because it's more than one country bombing the water. Drop all kind of bombs in the water. Tell you about gas leak and all these stuff. Right? So they seeing something, brothers and sisters. They seeing something. But as children of the most high, we have to know that what salvation is near. We see what coming upon us with the high prices, everything skyrocketing. You go into supermarket, it's it don't look like two years ago, right? Even in the so-called pandemic, COVID pandemic, you go in supermarket, supermarket was more stuck than you see it now. So what we have to do? Prepare. Prepare, prepare, prepare. It's not the enemy duty to feed us right so we cannot depend on the enemy to feed us for everything so brothers and sisters who in states countries where you can farm start planting your own little vegetable man you understand me you eat meat get two chicken put in the back of your yard you understand me get a lighthouse a heat house okay we have to prepare for what to come because just as the scripture said, when we think peace and safety, then sudden destruction. You understand me? This destruction can be any day now. You understand me? We facing the beginning of sorrow for some time now. So it's only fear for the most high to bring his judgment up. But there is a famine coming. It's a famine of the word. Just like in the book of Maccabees it states, it was not permitted for man to say they are Jew anymore. And Jew is just come from the word Judite. You understand me? So it's not permitted for we to profess who we are. And Theosius create that law. So now we see where the same thing playing around today also. So we just have to watch and be amazed and be happy. Knowing that what? We were right. And everybody else was wrong. And for the new people. Brothers and sisters. That went flooding the truth this time. You all have to be careful too. Tell you how shall I tell you. Some come. They are going to drop on rocky ground. Right? So we all have to put ourselves in a position. Where we have to be the example. We have to be the one that drop on good ground. You understand me? Because rough time is ahead. And just like Amashiach was tempted 40 days and 40 nights, we not immune to temptation. We not immune to be tempted. So as the most I say, when try us, our tribulation and trial will take place in this battle to come. You understand me? Our tribulation and trial will take place in this what to come. Good morning. So it's best we start to prepare physically and spiritually. Because we're in a great time. You understand me? You look on 20, 30 years ago. Right? And 30 years ago comparing to now. It's remarkable. The transformation what they hurt. And man have transformed 
in the last 40 to 50 years. It's remarkable. Just look back 35, 40 years ago and remember what used to take place then and see what, oh, advanced the world is today. So now we know we have but a short time. You understand me? So it's our best interest, brothers and sisters, that we stay encouraged. We love each other. We uplift each other. Respect each other in the name of Amashiach Yahushai. And be honest to each other. Be caring. Everything come under the banner of charity. As the scriptures say, Amanda, don't have charity. You don't have nothing. Because it's going to be gross time ahead. So stay focused, brothers and sisters, while I finish this walk. So as I normally close out and said, Kwam Yeshahala, rise Israel, rise, rise.